Hey, what's going on? Let's do another uh, informal beer review here. I don't know. Am I qualified to make reviews? I don't think so. Uh, you know, I just like beer. And uh, a lot of my tastes uh, go along with a lot of other people's tastes. So take it for what it's worth. If you want to try other beers, if you haven't tried these, which I'm sure a lot of people have tried these, uh, let's put them up against each other. We've got Budweiser, the king of beers, and we have Miller High Life, the champagne of beer. Um, this one was brewed in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This one is brewed in most likely the North Brewery. Uh, it says St. Louis, Missouri, but I'm 100% uh, positive it comes from the North Brewery. Um, InBev took it over. Uh, I think there's a big change. I think it tastes a lot better. But I won't harp on that. And this is a pint. There's a difference. This is, that's why it looks a little bit bigger. This one's, uh, what is this, 12 ounces. I actually think it's a little bit less. Let's see. It says in the bottle somewhere. Maybe it doesn't. But I believe it's like Labatt's. It's just a little bit left, less. I think it's 11.5. So... Let's try the highlight first. And you know, the thing is like, I do these reviews and I am not a beer snob. I'm absolutely not a beer snob. 98% of the time I drink Miller High Life. Miller High Life, Bass Ale, or Labatt's, uh, depending on how much money I have. But even though this is the cheapest one of the three, uh, I really enjoy this in the summertime. And it's affordable. It's a working man's beer, you know, and I, you know, I'm, I really like it. So let's try it out. Quit smoking today. Imagine that, huh? Smoking for, uh, I don't know, 26 years. And just, it just hit me today to stop. Not taking anything. Uh, and the funny thing is, uh, I actually don't even miss it. I'm one of those people, if I don't smoke in the morning, um, I won't want a cigarette all day. So I don't want to talk too much about cigarettes. Quit smoking. All right, and I'm not smoking the pipe either, or cigars. Gave it up. I believe occasionally I'll smoke the pipe, maybe on a holiday or something like that. But just it's it's kind of lost its flair for me. It makes my teeth yellow. It makes me sad. <laughs> makes me tired, and uh, I'm just not getting the enjoyment out of it I used to. So I stopped. All right put them together um, actually Miller High Life is a little bit uh, darker but you can see the uh, the Budweiser has a better head so I'm gonna try the uh, Miller High Life first I know what it tastes like but I just want to compare these two because these are two great American beers I just love Miller High Life. I love it. I'm curious to see how it does against Bud. I, I've never done a taste test like this before. Well, I have, but I haven't done it with uh, Miller High Life and Budweiser. Maybe I got it wrong. Hold on. This is the Miller High Life and this is the Bud. They almost, they almost taste the same. Excuse me. They almost taste the same, but the Budweiser is smoother. Um, it has a smoother finish to it. Um, now, I've known uh, Budweiser for a very long time. Not him personally. The beer. And this is one of those beers where you could drink these all day long if you were uh, so inclined. It's, even though it's not a light beer, you can really pound bud. Um, 
And these 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 Pilsner style beers, um, you know, they they are what they are. I know I say that a lot. It gets a little annoying, but uh, it's domestic style um, beer. It's meant to have. You know, it's not you know. It's meant to be a, a blue collar beer, and it is a blue collar beer. I'm a blue collar guy, and uh, I like them. And uh, I'm actually proud to drink these beers. I'm not gonna like, walk around and say like, "Hey, I'm drinking Miller High Life. I'm a fucking nutball." Nothing like that. But it's just that uh, they're two great beers. Um, the the head calmed down on the Budweiser, and the head is still on the uh, the Miller High Life. Uh, I honestly think. This may be smoother, the Budweiser may be smoother, but I really think that, uh, now this is another, this is another wacky thing, uh, what it says on here. We know of no other beer that costs as much to brew and age as Budweiser beer, and it's always said that. They, uh, brew with the choices, hops, barley, and malt, and then they age it in something called Beechwood. And it gives you the beechwood flavor. It has a very unique flavor, and that's what makes it smooth. And that's what they talk about on the label: the smoothness of the bud, um, smooth bud. It's very smooth, but I honestly—and this isn't bullshit—I'll give you my honest opinion. I think the Miller High Life's a better beer. Oh, that's gonna make people mad. A lot of people like when I when I do videos, they don't want to hear the truth. I'll spit the truth out. I'll give it to you. Um, it's funny. I do videos. I'm the only, I'm the only person on YouTube. I do videos and I lose subscribers. When I don't do videos for months, I'll get like 60, 70 subscribers. I just don't understand it. Why people subscribe to me if they don't want to watch the videos? I, I don't get it. Uh, YouTube, it's, 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 you know, the people are a fickle bunch, you know, they're, it's just, one day you're hot, definitely next day you're not, um, I, I have slowed down on my, uh, doing the videos, because, you know, I'm busy with work, and a lot of people say that, I'm so busy, it's not that I'm so busy that I can't do it, it's, it just gets to be taken up too much of the day, um, trying to exercise, trying to get in shape, and uh, I will make time for it, but, and the, and the other thing is, the negative thing is, you know, I get a lot of negative comments from people, and just, I don't have any time for it, you know, I just don't have any time for it, and it's kind of turned me off, and I know I go through these phases every once in a while, where I'm just like, fuck YouTube, you know, but then I come back, but what I've learned from the whole experience is, when I get like that, I need to just go my own way for a while. I'm not closing the account. I'm not uh, going to bail for like a month. I'll, bail. I'll, I'll, I'll do another video when I feel like doing one. Because the idea of it is it's supposed to be fun. It's not a job. And I don't answer to people, especially in comments. I don't answer to people like, you're an asshole, you're a fool, you're a jackass. I don't respond to that. You know, just, I'll just block you. That's all. And that's... I have a lot of people that I talk to back and forth, which are really cool, and I have a lot of fun with it, but, uh, you know, when it gets to be not fun, I just, I don't have any time for it. I don't have for time for people that are like, you're an asshole. I have no time for that. So, uh, whew, man, as always, took a hard left. Uh, can I throw a knife in here? Yeah, probably. There we go. CRKT Asatsu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... And a uh, Ontario Rat One. These are pretty much these these two knives and the Case uh, Mako are pretty much the only knives I really use anymore. I kind of drifted away from knives. I don't know why. It was like a really big thing to me for a, a very big part of my life, and I was very interested in it. It just you know. 
once I got into I'm a pig I know once I got into guns I just you know I just didn't have it for knives anymore I'm sorry knives but I still kept the ones that I really really uh, enjoy using and, uh, so that's gonna be my video and uh, I'll catch up with you guys whenever all right later